مرحبا واهلا وسهلا فيكم ان شاء الله انتم الكل بالف خير وسلامه ويلكم تو ذا سيشن اوف ليرنينج لبنتان عربيك ان ذا سيشن وي بي ليرنينج فايف كومنلي يوزد عربيك فريزز ذات بيبل يوزد تو اكسبريس استونيشمنت اور اميزمنت اور ديسابوينمنت اند سام تايمز امباثي ان لبنتان عربيك تووردز سيرتن سيتويشنز وين it occurs and it happens and you see people and sometimes you're stuck you don't know what to say so here we go we've got five phrases for you guys first before going ahead i'd like to thank you all very much for your kind support for the book i hope you really enjoy it and find it useful and if you like the book then please uh, consider giving it five minutes to review on amazon and obviously if you do have some feedback about the book then please do not hesitate to get in touch the idea of self publishing to amazon is not that glamorous as lots of people think but it will always help me to add to refine to make it better and to help you to have better experience learning arabic so thank you all very much without further ado let's come back to our session the first phrase is ya hasra ya hasra Hasra is a pity and ya there it means hey like oh oh what what a pity so uh, ya there you would hear a lot and people tend to use it if they would ask uh, or would call for somebody so you would hear say ya ahmad hey ahmad so oh ahmad so people tend to use it a lot before uh, people's names basically when somebody calls after someone else so they would use ya before followed by the name but here we are using with this phrase and it is ya hasra ha ya hasra ya hasra if an example ya hasra sar lo snin maghtirb w lamma rja a suria w fatah mashru' balashat al harb ya hasra oh what a shame sar lo snin he has been for years maghtirb Maghrib refers to somebody who's working abroad in western terms is an immigrant or a posh word which means expat ya hasra sar lo snin maghrib w lamma rja and when he returned a suria to syria w fatah mashru' and opened a project w fatah mashru' balashat al harb the war had started so here in the situation it's your sharing a bit of an empathy and saying oh what an unfortunate he's been working abroad for certain years and and at the time when he decided to go back and to open a project and settle down the war has started so you would use it within this context ya hasra sar lo snin maghtirb w lamma rja عاسوريا وفتح مشروع بلشت الحرب Our second phrase is يا حرام يا حرام equally means what a shame pity or very sad or heartbreaking because when lots of people they hear the word haram they think about it within a religious context which is understandable from different points but then equally as we know in arabic a word could be used in different contexts or on different meanings because a word could be used on a different means and in different contexts so ya haram ya haram which means what a shame or pity and it's actually used a lot in arabic uh, when somebody would hear something heartbreaking it's like oh ya haram we've got an example for you قبل اسبوع رفيقي اجى ولاد توم وبعدها باسبوع خسر شغله يا حرام قبل اسبوع رفيقي اجى ولاد توم وبعدها باسبوع خسر شغله يا حرام قبل اسبوع a week ago رفيقي my friend اجى ولاد توم he had twins so اجى to come so اجى ولاد توم he had twins وبعد ان افتوردز باسبوع باي ا ويك او ان ا ويك ا ويك افتر خسر تو لوز شغله هيز جوب هي لوست هيز جوب يا حرام او هاو بريكينج سو يو وود يوز ذا وورد يا حرام سيميلرلي ان سيميلر كونتكست اور اون ا سيميلر مينينغ سو يا حرام از نوت اولويز يوز اون ا ريليجس مينينغ اور كونتكست Our third phrase is ya'ib shum. Ya'ib shum 
Yahayb Ishum, and this is widely used in dialect. We use it to express a disappointment towards something or somebody has done something and you find it absolutely shocking or unbelievable. We've got an example for you. Yahayb Ishum, Bad Masaad George, John, Rah, Talab Minno Masari, Hak Isaad, Yelli Saadon, Yahayb Ishum, Bad Masaad George, John, Rah, طلب منه مصاري حق الساعات يلي ساعدهن يعيب الشوم here this phrase means what a shocking behavior بعد ما ساعد جورج after جورج had helped جون راح he went طلب منه مصاري he asked him money حق الساعات for the hours يلي ساعدهن which he had helped with or which he helped him with يعيب الشوم بعد ما ساعد جورج جون راح طلب منه مصاري حق الساعات يلي ساعدهم يعيب الشوم يعيب الشوم because عيب means shame and شوم means or refers to behavior so you could use it I mean obviously this example might not be uh, the clearest but you could use it on similar meaning in similar context uh, so you could definitely use it يعيب الشوم great so this phrase يعيب الشوم which means what a shame or what a shocking behavior or what a shocking act or saying. So people Our next phrase is Ya Bartol. Ya Bartol, which means this is unbelievable or shocking. Ya Bartol. Bartol by itself means invalid or something cannot be happens or something invalid. And here the idiom and here the phrase is being used all together as a response to something which is unbelievable and people would tend to say ya batil ya batil if you an example ya batil huwa rahu hak alaya bil atil ba'd ma wataqat fi ya batil huwa rah huwa rahu hak alaya bil atil ba'd ma wataqat fi ya batil unbelievable shocking huwa rah he went or hak alaya and he talked about her. He started to spread rumors. Bil'atil, bil'atil, which means in not a good way. Badma, after, wathaqat fi, she trusted him. And the literal translation for it here means she trusted in him. So the phrase is, ya batil. Ya batil, which means this is unbelievable or shocking. Our next phrase is she bizal. She bizal. This is upsetting or it's something that upsets me. She, which means something. She, she bizal. It upsets me or what an upsetting or how upsetting thing to hear or to see. Meaning, what a shame. She bizal. She bizal. Anjad she bizal. Sarla natrin hon man بلكي بيجو عن قريب عن جد شي بيزعل صرنا ناطرين هون من شي ساعة عن جد شي بيزعل صرنا ناطرين هون من ساعة بلكي بيجو عن قريب عن جد really honestly شي بيزعل this is quite annoying or this is quite upsetting صرنا we have been ناطرين هون waiting for them من ساعة for an hour so it has been an hour that we've been waiting for them. This is unbelievable or this is quite upsetting. Balki bijuan arib. Hopefully they'll come soon. Balki, hopefully. Balki, and that is purely dialect. Biju, they come an arib soon. Anjad, she, bizal, sarlna, natrin hon min sa'a. Sarlna, we have been, natrin hon, we have been waiting for them. Min sa'a, an hour ago. Montez. And this was the end of our phrases. Hope you really enjoyed them. Hope you've learned something from them and you would be able to use them. Hopefully you don't need to use them, but if it comes and it happens, you've got a phrase, you've got a way to express in a certain incident or an event that may cross paths with you. Great guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Till next time, stay safe. Ma salamin.